Nintendo 64 ROM hacks. I got them, you want them, and here they are. The Overcart 4 DLC pack adds a plethora of new features along with 24 new tracks. Yeah, you heard that right. That's more than the 16 tracks even available in the original Mario Kart 64, which are also still here, by the way, in case you get a hack to play the original game's content. Who are you? These new tracks showcase a wide range of locales from house interiors, dry deserts, to even locations from other game series. Although the track quality can sometimes be a mixed bag, some of the tracks tracks have interesting geometry, and a few of the tracks suffer from being just way too big and empty. Deku Forest feels more like a Deku giant grassland, and the new Bowser's Castle makes you feel like you're four inches tall. But standouts include the Titan Fast Peach's Castle and the beautiful Ice Cavern, giving you plenty of highs along with your lows. It's 24 new tracks after all, don't complain. What's arguably more impressive are the great new set of options included along with this hack. Standouts include the ability to edit which races are in each cup, a red coin mode that allows you to collect eight permanent speed boosts per level, and a mirror mode that breathes new life into the old tracks. So, hey, I guess you do have a reason to play them now. Honestly, this feels more like a platform platform to develop new hacks off of with this incredible extensive set of tools. But this hack is already a blast to play with its new tracks. Check it out. Kirby 64 Wispy's Trials is, as far as I know, the very first Kirby 64 hack, and it carries that title quite well. This quick little hack takes the first world from the game and turns it into an expert level gauntlet, all with a dark foresty theme. It's pretty hard as far as Kirby levels go, and unless I'm exceptionally bad at this game, you can also expect to die here a few times. Although there's only three levels in a boss fight, the levels are well designed and pretty lengthy. They'll throw everything at you, from all types of enemies, these weird vines to barriers that prevent you from getting through unless you have a certain combination of copy abilities. And that's super cool and not annoying. The boss fight is Wispy Woods, but big shocker, it's been modified in a pretty creative way. The enemy attack patterns and health aren't different, but the surface you run around on is. Compared to the original game, it's much harder to maneuver and avoid the falling apples. Although there is one slight oversight that will give you an advantage. The raised platforms serve as a kind of apple bank, as the apples that fall on them just never disappear. Beyond that one minor glitch, Kirby 64 Wispy's Trials is a very strong first hack for this game, and it's worth seeing just for curiosity's sake alone. Paper Mario The Black Pit turns Paper Mario into a hardcore dungeon crawler. The story starts with Mario falling in a hole. No, wait, I'm sorry. Black Pit. And, uh, that's about it. There's actually a lot more to it than that. The story unfolds as you play the game. And when you start out, there's two ways to go about that. There's the classic pit that features a hundred floors of enemies, with every ten floors giving you a badge, or sometimes an ally. And there's the roguelike pit, which, just like it says, turns Paper Mario into a roguelike, with stripped down stats and badges and upgrades that don't get saved when you die. Paper Mario The Black Pit is much more than even that, though, with purchasable skins, extra modes that get unlocked with further play, even stylish attacks being brought in from Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. You'll have to get good at both pits, though, if you want to survive, as all the badges are kept permanently from the classic pit, but only in the roguelike pit will you return with at least some of your money, which you'll need to buy new ally ranks and Mario upgrades. But it goes by pretty quick. The first hammer upgrade is a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. Yeah, there's a lot of grinding involved here, and this is by far the longest hack if you actually wanted to beat it. But everything here screams quality, and if you're willing to put your Paper Mario skills to the test, it's an absolute blast to play for a game that doesn't get too many hacks. If you want something ball-bustingly hard, give Pokemon Stadium Kaizo a try. This straightforward hack takes all the Pokemon in Pokemon Stadium and buffs their stats and movesets. It also replaces all the pre-evolutions with their final evolutions with a modified color palette and a different moveset. You know, in case you don't like the moveset of the first Charizard, there's two other Charizards to choose from if you're really that picky. When I say better movesets, I mean they're usually taken from Smogon's website, an organization that tries to find the best movesets for every Pokemon. The upside is that these powerful modded beasts are in your control now. 
The downside is everyone else has them. Seriously, expect a lot of hyper beams, thunderbolts, and blizzards. Those moves must be meta because they're on every single Pokemon. Gen 1 is so fun to mess around with. Moves like bind and fire spin are amazing here because they stop the other person from attacking. By far the best move in the game is blizzard because it has a 10% chance to freeze any opponent and it never wears off. So put a fork in it because that Clefable is dead. Pokemon Stadium Kaizo is as aggravating as it is fun. Give this a try if you think you have what it takes to be a Pokemon Master, but you're probably going to have to look up a strategy guide. Banjo-Kazooie The Jiggles of Time brings the Bear Bird duo to the land of Hyrule. The amount of care and detail in this hack is outstanding, with completely new maps, new music, and a custom story. Even the intro has been modified to fit the theme of the game. This roughly five hour experience will bring you all over Hyrule as it was featured in Ocarina of Time. The maps strike a perfect balance of keeping everything recognizable while fitting the areas for Banjo's more vertically oriented gameplay, as well as adding a few new areas to boot. This prevents everything from feeling stale while also giving you a sense of direction. So when Goggles tells you to go to the Lost Woods, it will still be right across from your house on a hill. I cannot get over the staggering amount of new content in this hack. There is so much to explore here. And there's a surprising amount of Easter eggs too. The music is also amazingly done and features remixes of songs not even in Ocarina of Time. From the cave theme in Link to the Past, to the credits theme from the original Zelda game. Banjo-Kazooie The Jiggles of Time is a monumental release and scratches that Banjo-Kazooie itch that we all have until the next official game comes out in 2095 or right before GTA 6.